administration in the kingdom of God first lesson, Hebrews chapter 1 verse 6, and again, when he bring it in the first begotten into the world, he said, and let all the angels of God worship him. Second lesson, Matthew chapter 25 verses 31 to 33, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Golden text, Matthew chapter 13 verses 40 to 43, as therefore the tears are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do iniquity, and shall cast them into a furnace of fire, there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Let us compare the government of God with the government of the world. The government of the white man is an adaptation of the government of God. You have the king who is the head, then you have other arms like the army, navy, air force, police force and others. All these various arms work under the king. The soldiers, police, customs and civilians perform their respective functions. In the police setup you have security organizations to maintain law and order and ensure state security. None of the police units will come out unless there is breakdown of law and order. The army is to fight and defend the nation but if there is no war they lie low. If there is war, they are called to fight and destroy whatever threatens the territorial integrity of the nation. A similar thing obtains in the kingdom of God. In the spiritual realms these institutions and organizations are very numerous and are complete with presidents, prime ministers, governors and other officers that see to the maintenance of law and order in the kingdom. The administrative arrangement in the kingdom of God is far more elaborate than the machinery you have in this world. Whatever any person does, there is an appropriate authority or arm to deal with the person, ensuring that no one takes the law into his or her hands. The supremacy of the Son of Man it is written, when he bring it in the first begotten into the world, he said, and let all the angels of God worship him. When they came to arrest our Lord Jesus Christ, Peter drew his sword and cut off the ear of one of them. Our Lord told him to put back his sword in its sheath for they that live by the sword shall die by the sword. He said that he could pray his father and he would send him legions of angels to fight but that if he did so, how would the scriptures be fulfilled? The Son of Man does not come as an elder, prophet, pastor, apostle but the King of kings and the Lord of lords. All the pastors, prophets, apostles, bishops, children of God and angels are under him and he rules over them. He has not come to walk about or preach or pray. He has come to sit on his throne, issue orders as the king and reign. Can you imagine the caliber of man that all the angels worship? This earth is the smallest of all the planes of existence. You have heard testimonies of how many angels are in 34 Umbo Street caliber. You also know how numerous the angels that attend to you are. If you add them all up, can you imagine all of them worshipping one man? Then what of those in the water in Bayakpan? When Elisha and his servant were going to war, the servant was so afraid so Elisha told him to pray for God to open his eyes. He prayed and God opened his eyes and he saw a sea of angels accompanying them. The angels were uncountable. All the angels of God serve God so if you step out of line, you have only yourself to blame. The duty of angels from the beginning God created and put the angels in place to execute certain functions. Only one angel can destroy the world. The one who rules over these angels and all creation does not bother himself because the angels have been given their orders on how to deal with any offenders. This is the time that God has set aside for the angels to destroy anything that is not of glory in his sight. Angels guard your houses, your businesses, your cars, your properties, anything any person does to you, there is an angel arresting him already so you have no need to fight and quarrel but just to love one another. If a thief enters your house to steal you do not need to worry because the angels have already arrested him. If you do not do as instructed by the Father, the angels arrest you. First lesson, Hebrews chapter 1 verse 6, Then again, 
when he bring it in the first begotten into the world, he said, and let all the angels of God worship him. The war of the spirit archangel Michael and other angels led the first divine war against Lucifer whom they threw out of heaven. In this last war, the Holy Father has so arranged everything such that no one may cheat, defraud or persecute us anymore. It is now the duty of the holy angels to fight for you so allow them to do their work. God created man to rule over all creation and the angels to minister unto man. You recall how King Herod took the glory due to God and only one angel tapped him on the head and he rotted instantly and died. Brethren, I want to warn you that you are in soup anytime you do anything wrong. When Satan was ruling over you, what could you do? He referred you to hospitals, hotels, secret societies, necromancers, courts, and traditions of your fathers. He stood in his pulpit to proclaim to you that God helps those who help themselves. The Holy Father has arranged and done everything very well for us, not because we are good or faithful or loving but out of his grace. He has said that we are saved by grace. The first thing Father is doing is to gather all the inhabitants of the world together and separate the sheep from the goats. The statement in the first lesson refers to the one person, the first begotten not the second son and not to sons but son. After this particular teaching, you will no longer wonder why you cannot do certain things, you will no longer fast in order to have power nor will you boast that you have power. This is because power and all other creatures take instructions from this first begotten son. If all the angels are under this one man, who can oppose him? This is a very lucky generation and everything is unfolding exactly as was written. Those who steal, lie, rob, murder and cause confusion should now listen to the second lesson. Second lesson, Matthew chapter 25 verses 31 to 33, When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. The second lesson clearly states that he will sit comfortably in his most exalted majesty on his throne of glory and all things will be done as he says, orders and instructs. People ask you why your leader does not move about. Have you not heard the statement in the second lesson that he will sit on his throne and his host of angels will work for him? He is to maintain his throne of glory. Any other person that claims he is the one spoken about is a deceiver. He shall sit on his throne and all nations shall gather before him and he shall separate the good from the bad. The Pope moves about, the Archbishop of Canterbury and other charlatans and impostors cannot be the one written about because they hop from place to place. Have you not heard that the Son of Man is not a pastor, prophet or bishop? He has not come to preach and gallivant but to rule in glory. When he came in his first advent he said, The Spirit of God is upon me, that I should preach the acceptable year of the Lord. This time, however, the emphasis has changed. He is to sit on his throne and be served by the angels. Mention any one person whose name can be used to heal the sick or raise the dead or to accomplish anything. How many people know the name of the Pope or the names of the pastors of the various churches? The separation what would you term the kind of place where you have thieves, robbers, liars, prostitutes, Hindus, Buddhists, Muslims, Christians and all sorts. God must have a need to separate the sheep from the goats. It is the angels that gather all of you and it is they that are doing the separation. You may deceive men but you cannot deceive angels. Let our golden text be read. Golden text, Matthew chapter 13 verses 40 to 43, As therefore the tears are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do iniquity, and shall cast them into a furnace of fire, there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. You have been instructed not to be angry or take vengeance because those to fight for you are there. If you beat someone, or borrow money, or assault someone and he says nothing and does nothing, do you think you are free? When you fall in love with someone's wife and the person says nothing, do you think you are free? Read and digest the golden text properly. 
Do you now begin to realize how merciful God is? Can you begin to imagine what would have happened to the world but for God's mercy? The angels are to deal with them that do iniquity. The angels arrest, punish and amper even those in the brotherhood of the cross and star because of their actions. You are not expected to commit any sin because the angels are constantly watching over you and working for you. You talk about warfare but I tell you that what God does for you that you cannot see with your eyes can only be imagined. You are all as free as the air. The angels are with you anywhere you go. That is the reason why your family and the world are afraid of you because all their evil plans are always destroyed by the angels. When they gather for their wicked meetings, the angels scatter them. The angels have removed all stumbling blocks in the world. Have you not seen how the children of God are shining in the kingdom of their father? You should be afraid only when you sin because the angels will punish you. The sacred injunction given you is that you love one another. If you carry out this divine injunction, you shall have no problems whatsoever. A stroke of the cane is enough for the wise. He that heart is let him hear. May God bless his holy word. Amen.